Geeks, check out our sponsor and one of my favorite new spots to get my toy fix, TF Basement. With great prices and lots of choices, my wallet is in big trouble. Make sure to visit their website, Instagram, and TikTok pages to stay up with the latest action figure arrivals like Transformers, G.I. Joe, Marvel Legends, and more. Also, use the code GEEKHANGOVER in all caps to get 5% off your entire purchase. Links are in the description. That's TF Basement. Make sure to check them out. And his opponent, from Perry, Oklahoma, the wrestling capital of the world, weighing 254 pounds, representing the inner circle, accompanied to the ring by Sammy Guevara, Jake Hager! What? was popping we got some new aew goodness in the house jake hager some of you may know him as jack swagger from wwe one of the two new figures in this line i mean i was so excited for this line they're pumping them out so fast that i wasn't really paying attention i didn't realize that it was four rehashes and two new figures so when i got home pulled them out to do reviews i was like okay well i need to really rush to do two today because the others are rehashes um and they look pretty good. I'm sure they're going to be great like all the other ones, but I'm tired of the same figures over and over again. But I'm not going to wax poetic. Let's keep it moving. Let's take a look at the box. Man, that was a good match. Look at that Hager goodness. AEW MMA two for one booty shot. He comes with an extra set of hands, balled up fists for punchy in the head. Oh yeah, me likey. Me likey. This guy here is special. Let's go ahead and bask in his really tall glory. Yeah, this guy here is dope. I don't know if I'm ever going to take the hoodie off after I do this review. He just looks so dope in that hoodie. And they answered my prayers from earlier today. I reviewed the Ultimate Edition Rock, and they had Velcro on the back of his shirt. And voila, le Velcro. Can't beat it. So they nailed his likeness, but the hair color is a little bit too red. Other than that, I don't have any complaints. I think they nailed him in the face. Everything looks top notch. Digging the material on his hoodie. Looks like real workout gear. Those gold stripes pop off. Gold at the bottom pops off. Goes well with the gold and I think it's like an olive green on his shorts. Legs are thick. This might be the same buck that uh, Dustin Rhodes is on. I'll have to compare him. Now his legs are a little bit wonky at the joints, but I didn't have any problems getting them to stand. Feet are sturdy. Boots look good. Paint job is crisp. Yeah, digging it. Man, took the hoodie off. He's covered in stray ink. Or paint splotches doesn't come off with a rub of the finger gonna have to try some nail polish but it looks pretty well soaked in oh man it gets worse jeez louise I'm gonna have to take this back to the store and see if they have another one come in cuz this is bad I can't do anything with him in the ring without that shirt on oh other shoulder too 
Come on. What gives? This uh, this is really disappointing. Anyway, tattoo on the back of his neck looks good. Accurate. Forearm tattoo looks good also. Waistband of the trunks looks really good. Couldn't see that before because of his... Man, I can't get over these ink splotches. Couldn't see that before because of his hoodie. 360 on the head. Wee bit of tilt. Even more wee on the other side. Can't complain about looking down. It's real steep. Chin to chest. Cranking that yank. Why, Lord? Why do I have this wretched skin blotch disease? Arms get up shoulder height, but they are super loosey-goosey. This arm was falling down on its own without me touching it. See? No bueno. Three sixty at the shoulder. Three sixty at the bicep. Not at the forearm. 360 at the wrist. Repulsor blast. Hold my hand. Kiss the ring. And the wrist a little bit loosey goosey too. In and out range. Double joint to elbows. Gets good range. You can easily brush his nice beard. Oh, so soft. Dang, he's got straight ink on his face, too. Ugh. Lean with it. Rock with it. Get that butter smooth motion. Crunch it forward. Giving you the willy way back. Three sixty at the torso. Oh, I was gonna say three sixty at the waist, but. No. Ooh, it sounds like it's going Oh yeah, pop out. Shoot. Okay, so you don't want to do that. <laughs> so I would say no to the 360 of the waist. And he will give you a little bit of turn there. He can't can. No, he can't can. That's piss poor range. Decent bend over. You do get a good split. Double joint to knees. Get that good prance on. Thigh doesn't get very high though. Can he touch his butt? Yep. You can push it so he touches his butt. That swivel joint of the thigh is hidden very well. That seam is almost imperceptible. Get you 360 there. Get the calf or ankle. I don't know. That's quite the calf. Just get an ankle 360 right there. I'm gonna let him pass and say he's moonwalking since he's a big guy. That toe doesn't point up very high. Come on. He 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 he. Okay, I give up. Foot is on a rocker. You get your pull 360, and you're in and out. Ooh, man, slow down, buddy. So I had to put the hoodie back on. That ink was setting off my OCD. And my brain just could not function. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't do it. Uh, as soon as I'm done with this review, he's going back in the box, man. I'm gonna go hunt for another one. But yeah, so I like the figure. I actually I love the figure, but I don't like mine. That ink kills it for me and the loosey goosey joints. So hopefully, and if maybe somebody can tell me in the comments if yours has the same problem, both the ink and the joints. Um, hopefully I can find another one and maybe his joints will be tighter. And of course I would hope he doesn't have the ink spots. But other than that, I think he's great, man. His face is spot on. I wish his hair was a little bit lighter, but I like his outfit. I like his build. I like the body. I think they got his proportions right. I mean, he just looks dang good. So one of the, I'd have to say he's one of the best in the line so far. 
Size-wise, there he is next to Dustin Rhodes and Mox. Now that I'm looking at, I think Mox is a little bit tall. I'll have to double check the real heights, but I don't remember. I thought Jake and Dustin should be a little bit taller than him. He looks a little bit too sizable. But anyway, so let me know what you think in the comments. I apologize, I wasn't going to do some more pictures with him, but I can't do the pictures with those ink blots. They just look bad. So <laughs> check out my Instagram in a couple of weeks. When I find another one, I'll put some pictures up. So let me know what you think. You think they did a good job on this, or are you going to pass on him? I personally say, if you can find him, get him, because he's pretty awesome. Make sure to sound from the comments. Let me know what you think. Are you going to add him to your collection? Are you skipping on him? Make sure to like and subscribe. Definitely turn on notifications. Until next time, geek out.